What am I? Dumber. I know. All of you guys guessed it in the comments. I am actually a skeleton. Ladies and gents, it is spooky season and it's time to spook all our opponents in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Ladies and gents, this deck is historically Yu-Gi-Oh!'s number one deck that is known to have a 100% win rate. And it's time to unlock the full power of Skull Servants in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Today, we're going to be breaking the power of Skull Servants here for Halloween. Guys, honestly, I totally forgot that Skull Servants got a brand new card that actually breaks the deck in a whole nother dimension, okay? This card right here is called White Lord. White Lord is a level 1 light zombie effect monster with the stats of 300 attack and 200 defense, and it has the following effect. This card name becomes Skull Servant while in the graveyard. You can only use each of the following effect of White Lord once per turn. If you have Skull Servant or King of the Skull Servants in your graveyard, you can send this card from your hand or field to the grave. Send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard up to the number of Skull Servants and King of the Skull Servants in your grave. Secondary effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one Skull Servant or King of the Skull Servants in your graveyard and special summon it. Ladies and gents, this card is absolutely busted. This alongside all the other Skull Servant cards like Skull Servant, King of the Skull Servant, White Prince, White Princess, white baking zombies aka skull servants basically have an additional that grass looks greener in their deck so if you're playing a 60 card base deck you are basically playing more copies of that grass is greener if you're playing skull servants in your deck and this card can potentially move up to like 12 copies of skull servants this card can potentially move up to 12 cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard using white lord's effect this card is ridiculous in my version the highest that i think i can mill is like 11 cards uh to the graveyard which is absolutely insane not only is it that grass is greener type effect for the deck but it also banishes itself to reborn back in the skull servant for lethal pushes white lord is absolutely scary guys so here is the deck list okay this deck right here is a power deck which focuses on sending all your zombie cards to the grave you guys are familiar with king of the skull servant this card right here if you guys are not familiar the reason why this card is so powerful is because for each king of the soul servants and skull servants in the graveyard this card gains 1000 attack all right so if you have look look how many skull servant cards you have in your deck 20 skull servant cards in our deck and if let's say we have 15 of these skull servants in the grave and we have white lord in our hand send it to the graveyard mill 15. this card is ridiculous and ladies and gentlemen on top of that white prince is so broken whenever this card is sent to the graveyard whether you foolish it or discard it however it gets to the grave you can add you can send one skull servant and one lady in white directly from your hand or deck to the grave so it dumps this card alone just dumps these guys to the grave and one of the most broken cards in the deck in my personal opinion is definitely white princess white princess send this send more cards they send, that's instantly four cards already in the graveyard white baking is even more insane because whenever sent to the graveyard you get to search two discard ones so searching cards like white lord and of course white prince discard white prince sends two more to the grave it's absolutely scary which is why cards like the horse engine works really well with this deck like imseti with white baking is insane foolish of white baking is insane like card destruction and white baking is insane like the whole car the whole deck revolves around setting cards to the graveyard and that's what you want to do okay this deck is a very powerful going second deck where you're able to maximize dps damage per second on the field with absolute ease alongside of course your horus engine and of course your king of the soul servant engine so the whole goal know your entire deck and play with your graveyard that explains why Mizuki's in there. That explains why Fairy Tail Snow is in there. Cards like Medora, Keldo, Disrupts the Graveyard. The Strudo is really, really good because the Strudo and, of course, King of the Soul Servants, this becomes, you know, level six. And then you can just use level six and level, uh, you know, four monster like Mizuki or Fairy Tail Snow or Necro Banshee. Help you make Barrel on the Floor. You can easily make Barrel on the Floor in this deck with absolute ease, which is why I think this deck is just really, really strong. It has a lot of different versatility, but the whole 
reason why this deck is a bit more consistent now is because we have access to white lord and while going second you have additional ways to get access to that grass greener you have the three thrusts you have of course left arm offerings you also can send more cards to the graveyard off white lord's ability so the deck has a lot of versatility here and the whole goal is trying to put out king of the skull servants as quickly as possible on the field to maximize dps as much as possible this guy can go up to over 10,000 damage and this card right here is literally a one punch man for uh and, and this card right here is literally a one punch man any monster that has lowered in 2000 attack and it has over 10k skull king of the soul servants can easily run it over and just deal automatic lethal Brandon droplet is also really good versatile going second because you can easily send you know cards to the grave to make your opponent's monsters weaker so king of the soul servants can become even more huge this deck can easily go second going second is what you want to do with this deck but this deck has no problem going first because going first you can floodgate your opponent out with cards like zombie world you can easily set up with Braun the floor you can easily set up with apollosa sp and so much more and hopefully we got some we get some good matches today to showcase you guys this deck in action but the reason why this deck is just so powerful and and, and guarantees that it increase the 100 percent win rate to 1000 percent win rate is the fact that white lord exists it's time to send all our ports to the shadow realm let's hop into master new rank with this 100 percent win rate deck ladies and gents let us begin all right ladies and gents spooky season is among us and we get to go second with skull servants my favorite guys opening hand is absolutely insane we got imseti white bacon glow up boom and white princess right here in opening hand this sending white bacon to the river to get access to our place to start off at everything is ridiculous because we've been actually drawn to thrust and stuff like that which is actually really strong so we can feel the grave uh you know so we can actually get access to of course that grass is greener while going second so guys remember this is the only deck in Yu-Gi-Oh's history that has a hundred percent win rate all right going first going second hundred percent win rate okay so we're playing against the stardust deck a synchro deck might be a bit hard but depending on what we draw we can actually break the entire board which is really really good honestly starting off with illumination is already kind of like weak you know like if they start off with this it's not that strong unless they start off with like any way to get access to junk speeder here but like starting off with illumination i feel like their their combos aren't as strong right because i know that illumination is searched during their combo to further extend their combo see that that's fine it's still a one card combo this way i get access to, to blazar uh which is not that bad but that's fine we can start off our tournament said he sent white baking right which is actually really really good so like they can't access to quasar right away summon this probably search stand up stand up discard one set gargoyle make auxilla Pro that's pretty much it that's it what 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 is this cap there's no way there's no way this is what this guy's doing yeah yeah 100 percent right summon this card premiere search stand up stand up discard one yeah i, th I think i think that's good like starting off and said he's so strong guys i never said he's so strong okay stand up stand up discard one probably put gargoyle here okay we draw maxi is also great too because it's on their turn like maxi comes a really clutch on their turn which is really nice okay probably gargoyle auxilla search one probably phalanx we got to deal with phalanx cosmic blaze are two unknown it's kind of annoying don't know what this set is okay sending another true day out to the grave as long as there's no access to junk speeder oh so he plays emmet instead of gargoyle okay okay sure isn't gargoyle just better okay okay Oxila. Okay. As long as that's not an ash in his hand, I think I, was, I think we'll be fine. As long as that's not an ash in his hand, I, I think we'll be just fine, ladies and gents. Okay. So bonds. Okay, places that. That means he probably possibly already has phalanx set. Bonds places one, but Oxila places one already. Why does he need to place more? Right. Okay. These two comes out, makes Crimson Dragon. Okay. Oxilla places Emmet, I guess. Or Trudea. Okay. Yep. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Here we go. Draw Maxi is also really good, too. Okay. That's an Ash. That'll be kind of unfortunate. Skull Servant, so L. That's not good. If that's an Ash, I think, like, we're kind of cooked. 
because we really need to, we, we really need we, we we really need this to resolve we really need this to resolve ladies and gents what that's insane true awakening is actually insane obviously this is kind of tough obviously i'm setting need, need to resolve we can use white baking effect right now adds two discard one yep Maybe a thrust here. Would have been beautiful, guys. Add this. Add this. Discard Prince. Activate Prince. We just need more Skull Servants in the grave so we can keep milling cards. Okay. Depends on what this guy's making. Okay. Because honestly, we could just normal summon White Princess, try to dump White Prince, so we can just send more cards to the graveyard, right? I think that'll be pretty good. Right? At least that's kind of like the thing that we kind of want to do. Crimson Dragon here. Man, Maxi would have been insane here, guys. Okay, Crimson Dragon here is good. Send this. Also send this. Okay. We have to save the White Lord. One, two, three, four. Four cards already. We need to mill as many cards as possible. Yeah, tag out. What does he tag out into? Probably Cosmic Blazar. Yeah, probably Blazar, right? We really needed that Imseti to go through. Imseti was like one of like our major key cards, you know? I don't think we were, we were going to be able to draw anything else. But we're going to try our best still to try to break this board. Try our best. You never know, right? He might misplay, right, guys? Blazar coming back every turn is what makes it a, it a, it a huge issue. Yeah, Blazar. effect we're trying to dig our deck deep guys we're just trying to dig our deck deep yep effect and this and this activate white lord yes and negate this send eight cards what he's uh, he allowed that he allowed that. Okay. Let me just activate this. Lowers everything. 400. Look at that. Send this. Special with this. Okay. Make Link Creevil. You can't make Anima, unfortunately, but it's kind of L. Okay. We use White Prince's effect again. Wow. He's actually not even doing anything. We're just fueling the graveyard, guys. Send from hand. Also deck. I think now we just have to cap because this guy special summons two to banish one from deck, right? So we have to cap a bit. So we have to try to like find a ways to actually just cap cap at some things. Just try to bait out Blazar. Summon this. Why not? Summon this. I think what we're doing here is just trying to cap as much as we possibly can here. Okay. I think we have to revive back at level 8. Summon this. Okay. Because he has to out access code. Alright, just summon this. Okay. Make apple. Okay. Yes, uh, Quasar this. Guys, we're breaking this entire board. The king is coming. Banish. The king is here. Okay. Wait, what like what does that do? Okay, this. Okay. No. Okay. The king is coming, bro. Is he gonna, is he gonna blaze around the gate that? Okay. Okay, thank you for getting rid of that. The king is here. Honestly, I can just go battle phase here. I just attack over. Battle phase? You can't even you can't even nib this. So now I know that he I checked for nib. Wow. Skull servants! Peace! Nice! Nice! 
is how you break a board. I felt like he couldn't negate my cards a bit earlier, but he's ass. But that's okay. It's spooky season, and we take those. We take those W's, ladies and gents. W's in the chat. W's in the chat, everyone. <laughs> so, yo, guys, listen. This deck can actually also go first. That's what's good about this deck. It's very versatile. It can go first, go second. It can do whatever, ladies and gents, all right? Let's go. Okay, this hand is actually... Honestly, this hand would have been better going second, to be honest. All right. This hand is ass, bro. It's so ass. You think if we can normal summon this, make Link Rebo, activate this... And it's so bad. Okay, let's do this. Let's go with Karibo. Okay. Then we just mill two. Activate mill two. Ash this. Okay. All right. I just, I just mill two. Well, okay. Doesn't do shit. Touch shit. Touch shit. Okay. And then we go with this. You know what I'm saying? This hand's a bit better going second, but obviously we have maxi, so we're, we, we don't lose the hash now. Just make this. I guess we just SP, banish the hash. I think we good. We, we Gucci here, bro kind of ass but honestly as long as we survive i think we're okay obviously this hand a bit is a bit better going second depending on what we draw but as long as we as long as we, we don't get killed oh my god spirit of you bell okay we have to wait wait a bit okay we have to check sp yeah we have to banish this okay is it normal this we chain sp banish phantom and also banish sp Okay. Use the effect we chain SP. Yep. He can't kill us. Come on now. Chain max C, baby. God damn! God damn! Resolve that shit, bro. Pop one. Yeah, pop. Keep popping, bro. Keep popping. Keep popping, bro. Yeah, let's see if he tries to kill me. Let's see if he tries to kill me. Fiends versus fiends for Halloween. Come on now. Back, yeah. Some of you bell, yep. He low key might just OTK me, to be honest. Yep. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. And that means he can't. That means he can't nightmare pain. Is he ass? He's ass, right? He has to be ass, right? Okay, you can't nightmare pain. This is just... It's not even game. He's, 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 he's gonna ass, right? He can't even... He's, he's gonna ass, right, guys? Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. It's not double damage for nightmare pain. I don't think it's like that. Yeah, it's not, it's not double damage. Okay... All right, we can actually kind of beat this. We can actually kind of beat this. SP. Sure. Can't even use SP's effect because he, he he didn't link away Phantom. He's an he's ass. My SP checks his SP, so hard destruction is insane. Holy shit! I think we have to use card this, this year. Banish this. And we card destruction snow and Mizuki, depending on what we draw. I think we can actually beat this. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yep. Card destruction. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's play. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh. You can't, bro. I called by it. Pussy. Pussy. I called by it, pussy. I called by it. Come on. Ass. He's gonna scoop now. You're. What? What?
This is what I told you. This deck is 100% win rate for Halloween. God damn. Ladies and gents, our current record right now is 2 0. We get to go second. All right. And we open up a max C ultimate. Oh my God. Left on offering. Walls of the Imperial Tomb. I think like there's no better hand than this hand, to be honest. This hand is just so powerful. Actually, just so powerful. Super Heavy Samurai. Yep. 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 Let's see if I can maxi this. Hopefully it resolves. Yes! It's stuck! Yeah. That means that he didn't have gamma. If I maxi and gamma me, I would have got destroyed. And super heavy samurais, they can't use their, their spawn traps. So like we're actually Gucci. So let's see if he's gonna go off. Yeah, oh, we take those, we take that. He might just pass here, maybe. Honestly, if he passes against Skull Servants, you just die, bro. You can't pass against Soul Servants, man. Like, okay. Okay. Maybe he, he wants to you you add all the cards first, and, he, and then you and then and, and then he'll maybe he'll draw me. What is he what if he draws? Okay. Honestly, guys, against super heavy samurais and maxi resolves, like you're just like you're just happy. Usually the happiest person in the world, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, like if he maxes us, like I'm, I'm, I'm going off. Like he, like he thinks this is like, you know, let's 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 play a bit. Go with this. Well, of course, I'll add this to my hand and then I'll put back Midoriya. Put back Midoriya here. Activate this. Send this. Draw, okay, we draw one. Yes. Oh my God. Insane. White baking. Add two. We add, of course, Prince and White Lord, which is ridiculous. And White Lord. This card has like changed the whole entire deck's dynamic, which is really scary, bro. Like being able to just do this every single time. Activate this. Like fam. Like what is in in the reincarnation is this? Like being able to, like, this this shouldn't be illegal, you know. This should. This shouldn't be legal, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. All right, send this. Effect. Send two more. What the hell in the world is going on? Yo, send one, send two. Yo, guys, how many do we have in grave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mill eight is actually ridiculous. Mill eight. Wow. Look at that. We have Mseti. We have these guys that can activate their effects, which is really, really strong. Yeah, we can just go with this. Activate this. Like, we can just send this to the grave first. Send Happy. Send Duomotif. And then summon these two make Zombie Vampire. Like, look. Okay, so we summon this. Okay. We summon this. Yes, sir. We don't have a king in the graveyard just yet, okay? But we can get access to king. This is already game, bro. This is like already game, no? Because we have 11 cards in grip. Eight. We have 11 cards. Bro, if we just go this. Hey, look at this. Look at this. I think he has Nim, maybe. Send this, summon ha send happy. And then you summon happy. I'd rather guarantee victory, right guys? Here. And then you go this, banish the white. These two mans. Summon king directly from the deck. Like what are they doing? Like, bro, it's game every time. Literally game every time, bro. If you want to play a deck for spooky season, this deck does not lose, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents, I'd like to sincerely apologize if these duels have been super duper quick. So far, our record is 3 and 0. Like I said, guys, so far, 100% win rate for this deck. Holy, look, look at that. Like, what? All right. Better have Ash, buddy. Oh, 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 wow. I didn't get to do anything. I didn't do anything. I, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Like, this deck is so scary that everybody just scoops uh, on 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 the deck's presence. Like, as soon as you sit at a table and they know that... They just feel that you're playing a, a Skull Serpent deck. 
It's just 100% win rate, guys. Ladies and gents, let's try that again. We are going first once again. Hopefully, our opponent isn't just scared of our presence and just end up scooping. You know what I'm saying? So, 60 cards versus 60. Okay. 60 versus 60. All right, bro. Here we go. So, I'm going to try to build up an Apollosa board first turn, okay? So, this. Let's see here. Effect. Send this. Okay, no Ash here. We'll send him Seti. Okay. Affect this. Add two, discard one. Okay, so we'll add one and two. One. Look at this, guys. It's full combo right now. Two. Discard one. Activate white. Send everything to the grave. Okay, send one. Send two. Okay. This is kind of bad because we, we trigger off his own grass, right? And this. And this. Okay. Activate this. Send this. Send this. We have all three mans in the grave. So let's special them in. This. Special of this. Okay. Let's smell his grave too, bro. Let's smell his grave. Let's go, baby. Probably imperm this. Imperm or what? Oh. Shit. Yeah, we have, we have, we have this on Rhino. Yeah. We have this on Rhino. Slow Lake triggers, though. It's so annoying. I think we need access to Baron the Floor, bro. Activate this, right? Milne 8. Godly. Do I use Globe Bloom here? So we can activate this. Because when this is summon, right? It just dumps White Prince to the grave. So it sends the last two to the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we have to try to build our unbreakable board right now. It says White Prince and a White Prince. Tr oh, White. Oh, so we already have already so many names in the grave. So this comes out level four. Go this. Boom, boom. Summons King directly from the deck. And we can use the Strudo to pay half. Target this. And this can also manipulate attacks too, which is insane. Don't we'll make Baron here. Rhino is also ridiculous. Yep. Summon this. And we also have Max C, right? So we just save this. Okay. Oh, all monsters currently on the field whose attack equal, equal to its own defense. So I think yeah, maybe this is good here. This is enough. Let's go with this. Negate it. I think he's gonna droplet this. No. Okay. So max E resolves. That means he has access to thrust. As am I phase, I'm gonna shuffle back Baron. Yep. Okay. There's Rhino on hand. Okay, he's under maxi. That's fine. Just thrust. Rainbow's already in the grave. These two are already in the grave. So you can go another. Oh, pressure of planet. Okay. Three unknowns. So I know all three. I know it's fine. I think I might just SP these two into a thing and banish kit. I think you banish kit, right? Yep. Okay. If he had thrust, he would have thrust already for grass, right? 
Is he targeting? Ooh, that's fine. Because I got to trigger off Vincetti. Send this. Yeah, Planet is a cat. Doesn't do shit. Yo, White Princess is actually insane. Yeah, that's fine. I have 26 seconds. Okay. And I think I'm going to go on res. I can't let him get him steady out. This is too strong. Yep. So now he's forced battle phase. He goes to battle phase. I'll just white prince. Just make SP like really big. Because they lose 300 for each level, right? So it's zero, zeros. Like, you can't beat over SP. Because of White Princess. Can't beat over SP because of White Princess. <laughs> Pussy. This deck is actually insane. See? Watch. He thinks he can use that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him attack. Everything is zero. Can't even attack. White Princess is so good. It's, I'm so glad I, 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 I kept that on the field. Now, like, what can they do? Yeah. Set one. He played well into not play well into Maxi. Basilic is gone. Probably gonna be meta noise, but I just just interrupt meta noise with SP level night. I think it's game. Can't beat over the SP. They can't beat it. Yeah, I just enter battle phase. Just... All right, guys. I need. Okay, let's go. Lock in. Lock the F in. Okay. Oh, crime is insane. Okay. I can't attack with anything else but zombies, but that's fine. And this. Activate this. Add two. Discard one. I'm waiting, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for, for them to trigger off. And I can't attack anything except for zombies. Okay. Okay. 27 seconds. 11,000 damage, bro. Mill 11 cards is OD. Oh my god. Okay. Summon this. And I also have Snow and Grave, guys. Okay. Okay. Anything else I should know about? All right. Beto face. Attack. Game! Yes! Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. That was against the best deck in the world. This is the deck that Jesse Cotton played. So in, in hindsight, we technically beat Jesse Cotton. Well, a descendant of Jesse Cotton. Milling, milling 11 for free? That means you got like 100 grass in your deck. This deck is insane. Happy Halloween. Ooh.